So, there we go. We added a road to the model. And in this first case, we have designed this road and we have calculated the road model only using the ground surface as calculation base. And in this case, there is no challenges or problems at all. Uh, you will have everything will be soil cut as long as the road is below the ground, like it is here. But then we all know that we have created these different soil layers before. So for example, we get this top soil layer here. I can add that like this. And we also get this uh, surveyed vegetation here. And then we get the, the rock model below here. And you see that it should cut through. So here we should have some rock cut, for example. And also this little part here where we get the rock close to the ground should also give us some little part of rock cut here. So that's the fact that we need to add these different soil layers to the, to the, to the model. So let's see here what happens if we only add the topsoil layers to the model as calculation base once. So we just close that down. I will bring this back onto screen here. There we go. So let's see now what happens. We go in here and we, uh, we edit the road model. And we add as calculation base. We also will add now this uh, topsoil 30 centimeter and vegetation surveyed. We press close. And we recalculate the road model. And we are still having no rock included in the calculation base. But as we see here, there is in a way rock cut. And when we use the Nova Point Road software and we add some kind of soil layers to the calculation base, we always need to add the rock below. So we need to make a picture of what it looks like in the real world, really, because you know that if you dig deep enough, you will still hit rock somewhere. So this is why we need to create what we call a rock bottom surface to get rid of all these challenges we get when we have these small islands of soil layers and so on in the model. So what we're going to do now is that we will create a rock bottom model of this. And the easiest way to do that is to just mirror down the, the terrain surface to a certain depth. And in this case, I will make it 10 meters deep. So what we do now is we go for the ground surface, or sorry, the subsurface, and we call this rock bottom and we choose to follow the ground surface and we will lower that 10 meters like this and we call it as we did before soil number five and we call it bedrock and press finish So if I drag this one onto screen now, rock bottom, and add that here, you see that we get this, this rock model that is way below. So if I now, to my road model, I also add this new rock surface. It's there. And press close. And then I finish it again. You will see that the rock cut will disappear. Here and now it looks like it should do. And if we try now to present this as uh, our uh, our volumes, like with the corridor solids here, can remove that one. 
and we can also remove the superstructure and then we see here that we get our soil we get the topsoil and we get the vegetation removal here and we also got some fill at the start But what happens then now, because we know we have these two areas where we have surveyed rock in some ways, and I want to add them to this rock bottom uh, model in some way. So what I'm going to do now is that I will create a rock model which contains both this rock bottom surface and the real rock we get, this surveyed rock we got from the start. So let's do, let we import this rock data again, or we just take a look on it. We put it in in the plan window next to here, like this. And then I go in here and I will edit this rock bottom surface. And I add two holes to it as well. So I select these two outer boundaries. And this is why I use the outer boundaries in this case. Do like this and press finish. And then you see that it will appear two small holes in it here, here and here. And then I want to now create a new rock surface where I take this rock bottom and merge that with the rock close to ground surface and the rock surveyed surface. Just create one more subsurface here that I call the rock. I call it the active rock model. So we know that's the one to use for all calculations. And then we just add these three sub-models we have created earlier on here. We take the rock bottom model, rock close to ground model, and the surveyed rock model. Press close. Then I just tell the software to use all the tin brake lines as, as brake lines again to just make a recalculation of it. So I press save and press. I set the soil type to number five again and bedrock. Press finish. So, and then our rock model is already done. So I, if I just drag this onto screen. Now active rock model, just overlay the other one. You see that this, this is now filled. And I can also just put it on a separate screen here and remove the rendering so we see all the triangles. And here we see our small rock close to ground surface that's integrated now in this big rock model. And here we get our, our survey area. It's a little bit shallower up to the to the rock there. So what we do now is that we go back to the road model, edit that one, and we switch a little bit around the the calculation basis here. So instead of using this uh, the rock bottom model, we use this active rock model instead. And press close and finish again. And now we will see that we will have a correct volume calculation. Here we can see the rock cut has been there. And if we switch to the to the to the corridor solid mode, we can remove this uh, the superstructure of it if we want we can also remove the fill and we can also remove this default ones this and then if we take a look on the cut we can remove all soil vegetation and topsoil and we see that we get small amount of rock cut here and we also get an even smaller amount of rock cut there we can then for example lighten up our soil and then we can add the topsoil on top of that one and then the vegetation so now we get a complete 
and correct volume calculation. So it's really important to remember this, that as, as long as you add some kind of soil layers more than the terrain, you need to have this, this bottom rock surface created, as we did in this video. So thank you very much for your attendance and So thanks for listening and watching and see you later next time. Bye.